What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 3 of tutorial series on custom domain name with API Gateway. In the previous tutorial, I have taken you through on how to create custom domain within API Gateway and we had also added the CNAME record to DNS. So now in this tutorial, I will cover how we can configure base path mapping and invoke the API endpoint using the custom domain, right? So let's get started. So uh, before we move on, uh, let's try to invoke the API endpoint first and see what happens if we try to invoke the endpoint without configuring base path mapping using our custom domain name, right? So let's go to Postman first. So this is the endpoint that we want to invoke using custom domain, right? So let me invoke this itself first. So it's working fine, right? So now I want to invoke the same API endpoint using custom domain. So it's HTTPS colon API dot SRCECDE dot com, right? Followed by the stage that is version one and followed by the resource name, right? So what I will do is I will simply say send and it written forbidden, right? So it's because we had not configured the base path mapping. So in order to invoke the API endpoint successfully, we have to configure the base path mapping first, right? So let's go back to API gateway. Now here within custom domain name, uh, click on show base path mappings, right? And it's empty right now. So click on edit. Now here, click on add mapping. So here there are two options that is path and destination, right? So uh, what exactly is path is, so for example, uh, you want to invoke this API endpoint saying that api.srcecd.com slash um, probably API invocation, invocation, right? And then followed by the stage name and the resource name, right? So what this will do is you always have to add slash API invocation if you are adding the same within this path, right? So right now uh, we want to invoke it via root path, right? So I will leave it blank. So we will be able to invoke that API endpoint without adding this API invocation or whatever uh, we add over there, right? So I will leave it blank. Now within destination, I want to invoke access file data. So that's my destination. So that's the API endpoint, right? And now here you can select the stage if you want, or you can leave it blank. So what we will do is we will select this stage version one and I will say save, right? So now path is uh, configured as slash. So what does it mean? API.srcecd.com slash followed by the resource name, right? Because uh, we had already added the stage over here, right? So let's see. Uh, so let's try to understand uh, with the implementation or the practical, right? So let's go to Postman. Now having said that we had configured this uh, path and destination. So how we can invoke this? So api.srcecd.com slash what I want to invoke domain name, right? So let me copy it from here. That's domain demo. So I will paste it over here and I will say send. And as you can see, uh, I am successfully able to invoke this API endpoint, right? So it's simple api.srcecd.com slash domain demo. So here we had not added stage, right? So why we had not uh, added stage because we had configured the stage over here. Now in case if I click on edit and remove this stage, right? And if I say save, and now if I try to invoke the same endpoint, so let's see. So it says forbidden, right? Because we had removed the stage. So for that, uh, now we have to add the stage over here, right? So it's going to be slash version one slash domain demo. And now if I say send, then it will be successful, right? So let me uh, try to uh, explain this in layman terms, right? So for example, if we are not configuring the stage over here, right? So right now we had not configured the stage, right? The stage is empty. 
So what does it say? Access file data that is uh, API endpoint colon asterisk, right? It means all the stages. Now, if I particularly select the stage over here, if I say version one and save, then within this URL, I don't need to mention the stage. So I can remove this, right? So it will be directly the custom domain slash resource name, right? Because it will refer to the stage that we have selected over here. Now, in case if I remove this stage from here, if I say define in path, save, then I have to explicitly add the stage over here. So that is a custom domain name slash version one. That's my stage followed by the resource name, right? So that's how uh, the configuration will work, right? So now uh, let's try to edit the path. So I will say edit. Now I want it as api.srcecde.com slash invoke slash stage name and the resource name, right? So I will say save. Now let's go ahead and try to invoke this. So say send. So now it says forbidden. It's because we have to invoke that API endpoint using api.srcecd.com slash invoke, right? So let's try it. So invoke forward slash let me check if i have mentioned the stage name so i have not so we have to pass it in the path that is version one slash domain demo and now i will say send so as you can see uh, the invocation is successful right so that's how you can configure the path so now here you can add multiple mappings so for example you want to invoke access file data api saying custom domain slash invoke slash stage name and something. And then uh, you want to invoke another uh, endpoint saying uh, maybe upload, right? So it's going to be custom domain name slash upload slash uh, whatever resource name. So it depends on how you configure, right? So, so in case if I say auth and if I select stage over here, right? So that's how you can add multiple mapping and this is how you can invoke the API endpoint using custom domain, right? So, well, uh, that's it for this tutorial and guys, please do like share and subscribe. And till that time, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.